A student commits suicide and switches bodies with a popular girl at school. This is the review for the Japanese TV drama series, Switched. Hi guys, this is MC Lorenzo. Before we begin, there are going to be spoilers. If you don't like spoilers, go ahead and find the timestamp for the review rating of these series. The story starts out with our main character, Ayumi. Ayumi is the popular girl at school. And we have the villain, who is Zenko, who is looking at Ayumi and wishes that she was her. Now, Zenko's life is actually pretty bad because she is bullied, she is thrown around, people ignore her, people hate her for all the reasons because she's fat, she's ugly, and she has a bad personality. Zenko uses a Red Moon legend wherein if you die while looking at the person you want to be, you switch bodies when you wake up. Zenko calls Ayumi and jumps off the roof. Now, when she dies, the next morning, they've switched bodies. Zenko in Ayumi's body now starts feeling like she's on top of the world because the girls are noticing her, she has girlfriends, and the guys are actually paying attention to her and want to be around her and the people, her family. Her new family is actually nice. So that's great for her. Meanwhile, Ayumi in Zenko's body is actually confused. She doesn't know what's going on. People hate her. People don't like her. They're bullying her. They are disregarding her, they're treating her like trash, and everything's really bad. It makes me see a different angle of the Japanese culture, specifically on high school. As a viewer, when I saw Zenko, I didn't really think she's that bad. I mean, she's not super pretty. Sure, she's fat. I just don't get it. I don't get why people are negative at her, why people are bullying her. It shows a dark side to a supposedly fun and exciting time for students and teens. When Ayumi is in Zenko's body, I feel betrayed. I, feel, I felt wrong for the character. Now, the resolution that I wanted for her were two things. I wanted her to get her body back or I wanted her to actually feel at ease with the new body, adjust to it, live her life as the new Zenko. I get that. That is what I felt like throughout the first couple of episodes. And then at the middle, at the end, everything felt different. The episode was switching things around and saying that the victim of the story is actually Zenko and not Ayumi. Ayumi was just a casualty. And I was like, I don't know how to feel about that because I wanted to hate on Zenko. I hate Zenko. And then at the end of the story, at, at the middle part, I'm supposed to resolve those issues as well because Zenko is actually just a victim. She's not the perpetrator. Like, there are causes for her to do that. The episodes are pushing me to feel that these characters, these two characters, Ayumi and Zenko, are both leads of the story and they both have problems and they both need to have resolutions that are positive. The way Switch executed these characters at the start felt like I have to hate on someone. And then at the middle, they destroyed that and now my feelings are confused. I'm hating on the stories, I'm hating on the episodes. I don't even like the characters that much because of them. Because of the way they executed the storylines. It's confusing and I don't like it. Let's talk about the boys of the story, Koshiro and Kaga. Now Kaga was initially the first one who discovered Ayumi was in Zenko's body. Now he made everything great for Ayumi in the sense that he pushed her to adjust to the new environment, the new people. People treating her badly suddenly are nice now. He went out of his way to help Ayumi be a better person inside someone else's body. And that's great. He's your typical nice guy. Now for Koshiro, at the start, 
he discovered as well that Ayumi, who isn't she appeared to be, she was actually Zenko pretending to be Ayumi. And then he tells her that it's all okay, it's all good. I'm still gonna be with you. You're still be my, gonna be my girlfriend. I'm still gonna be your boyfriend. As long as you have that face and body, I'm all good. We see at that point that Koshiro is actually very superficial. Smart, but very superficial. He wants a trophy girlfriend. We get that. So now the story has established itself. We have Kaga the nice guy and Koshiro the bad guy. But lo and behold, Koshiro was actually just pretending for the sake of Ayumi. He was pretending to be the bad guy so Kaga could be the good guy. I have invested feelings that Koshiro is the bad guy and Kaga is only is the good guy, the nice guy, the guy that I want to get the girl. But no, Koshiro gets the girl. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Out of all the four characters, everyone resolves their issues. Except Kaga. I want Kaga to actually get the girl or have his storyline progress the best. Resolve his issues the best. I want him to get the best out of the series. I didn't care much for Zenko and Ayumi with all the switching happening, so I focused on Kaga. Maybe this guy is actually good. Maybe he's actually gonna get something out of this. Maybe not the girl, or at least a love interest, or something better, something that resolves his issues. I don't know, anything would be great, but I didn't get it. Kaga finished last. Like all nice guys, he finished last. He didn't get the girl. He sacrificed his feelings. This sucks. For a series that deals a lot about death, nobody dies. The series has led us to believe that at the end, someone will die. Someone accidentally dies, someone accidentally kills somebody, someone does suicide. Granted, I know this is a TV series for teens. There's a lot of TV series that deals with death even with the teens, and I wanna see someone die. Nobody dies. Really? Switched? You cheated me. I give this series a three out of five. They lost two points because of the way the plots were executed. At the start, they've established which characters are the protagonists and which characters are the villains. And then, middle down the road they switch it up and i'm confused i was wishing for a proper resolution for the characters for the main character who i thought was the main characters but they never got it i really wish the characters had a different ending and someone did something differently the prose of the series does not have anything to do with the story it actually laid on the four actors. The way these actors portrayed it is they honed on the nuances, the identifiers of each character. So we see the actors be each character and they hone in on that specific identifier of the character and they explore that. I like how the actors really focused on each character the way it's supposed to be. What I like about the series is it deals with gender bender. You don't see a lot of series in mainstream or the popular ones deal with gender bender. It didn't really touch on the sexuality or gender preferences of the characters, but it really focused on gender bender itself, how one feels like in someone else's body, and I like that. My recommendation for this series is it's not a must-see, but there is definitely something to look into. The premise is good, the storylines are okay, and the acting is really great. Definitely watch it if you have a spare time. It's only 40 minutes and 6 episodes, so it's really short. Did you feel the same way that I did about the characters? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this review helpful and enjoyable, give me a like. Also, if you want to see more reviews like this in the future on Asian TV drama series and films, go ahead and subscribe. That's it!